Welcome to TBTV Sport and to New Cuffbury, where tonight Wimborne Town Reserves host Paul Borough in the Dorset Premier League. If you love your non-league football and you actually want to see what's happening on the pitch and you don't want someone mouth-breathing their way through their commentary, I would humbly suggest you consider subscribing to my channel. The season's not very old and these teams haven't played very many games, so the table's kind of pointless, but here it is anyway. Now, bring me some slow-mos. <laughs> Okay, enough of that nonsense, let's get cracking. The first chance of the match fell to Paul Burrow, and Toby Dinovan had to be quick off his line. This run from left wing back by Kieran Denty culminates in a smart chance at goal. It's fair to say that Borough were having the better of the first half, but number 11 for Wimborne Reserves, Finley Toggill, was always looking dangerous. Midway through the first half, and Dinovan's off his line again. But that mix-up with Oliver House fortunately comes to nothing. The surging runs of Denty from the left wing-back position were becoming a bit of a feature. And if you listen carefully, this instance led to some sage advice on the Wimborne bench. Josh, he can't go fucking past four players. <laughs> As the half progressed, Wimborne Town were having a bit more possession and control, whereas Paul Burrow looked more threatening. But you thrill-seekers only want to see chances at goal. So I just need you to know this isn't as one-sided a half as it may look. We're 10 minutes away from the half-time break and I haven't had a chance to use my replay or other angles yet. Come on, boys. A beautifully worked move sees Danny Murto control and put the ball in the far corner. Putting Paul Burrow one up. And the crowd, well, they went wild. Less than five minutes later and Burrow were at it again. Tom Weeks doubling the lead with a finely taken goal. Get 
down, Neil. Wrapping the back. Half time, and it's Wimborne Town nil, Paul Rara 2. The consensus around the ground at half time was that Wimborne Town just needed to sharpen up their attacking prowess, but it was Paul Burra that carved out the half's first opening. But less than five minutes into the first half, maybe those Wimborne players had heard the chatter around the ground. With a move that carves open the borough defence, it's Albie Turner that's on the end of it. Charlie, Charlie, as soon as Albwell steps in, you've got to be on your bike. Just a few minutes later and it was Turner again, this time with an audacious effort with the outside of his foot. With 25 minutes left, it was time for the goal of the night. Charlie Ryan striding forward and placing his shot perfectly beyond the keeper's reach. Hey, he's got fucking too much time there, hasn't he? Twenty minutes after the match had been brought level, we were just waiting for someone to grab the winner. A fine strike by Wetton is palmed away by the keeper, but only into the path of Luke Sheehy, who makes no mistake. Soon after Sheehy's goal, the referee brings the contest to a close and what an entertaining one it was. Congratulations to both teams, there was some great football on show.